Our subclass being is our mind that mistakenly believe our sub that we normally see actually exist. Mm. Reality is the same. Um, our subclass being, our ignorance of subclass being is our mind that mistakenly believe our sub, our body, and all other things that we normally see actually exist. This is our ignorance of subgrasping. It is nature is ignorance, and it is a function is uh, to destroy our inner peace, mental peace. The ignorance of subgrasping function is to destroy our inner peace, mental peace. So that it, it function is to destroy our happiness. It is the, uh, our ignorance of subclass being is the root of all our problems and suffering. You know, subclass being, uh, our ignorance of subclass being uh, can be likened, likened to a poisonous tree. Other delusions, such as anger, attachment, jealousy, support, other delusions to eat its branches, and all our sufferings, problems to eat its fruit. It is the fundamental source of all our daily problems and suffering. Understanding this, we should put great effort to recognize, reduce, and finally abandon this ignorance completely. Until our ignorance of subclass being ceases completely through gaining the deep realization of sublessness, emptiness, we have no real happiness because our subclass being destroy our inner peace, mental peace, the source of all happiness, you know. As long as our ignorance or subclass being remain within our mind, there is no real happiness at all because it destroys our mental peace, inner peace, mental peace, peaceful mind. And without a peaceful mind, mental peace, there is no real happiness. Mental peace, peaceful mind, is the source of our happiness. Mm. Our ignorance, subclass being function is to destroy this inner peace. You know, through understanding this, we should apply effort to recognize, reduce, finally abandon uh, our ignorance, subclass being through training in collective emptiness. You know. As I said before, sublessness means all the things that we normally see do not exist. By gaining the deep knowledge of sublessness, we can control um, um, <coughs> we can control our delusions. You know, <coughs> um, you know um, by gaining the deep uh, realization of sublessness, emptiness, we can control our delusions. Controlling means through gaining deep knowledge of emptiness, we can control our delusions. Controlling means not allowed, not allowing uh, delusions to arise within our mind. We should control our subclass being ignorance by strongly believing uh, that the object of our subclass being, which is the things that we normally see, do not exist at all. You know? No? <clears throat> mm. We should control our sub. Our ignorance of subclass being by strongly believe that the object of our subclass being ignorance, 
which is the things that we normally see, do not exist at all. We should control our attachment by strongly believing that the object of our attachment that we normally see do not exist. And we should control our anger by strongly believing, believing that the object of our anger that we normally see do not exist. In this way, by controlling our delusions, we can maintain a peaceful mind all the time so that we will be happy all the time. This is what we really want. You know? We need this. Whether Buddhist it or non Buddhist, everybody needs this. You know? As I said, this is in this way, by controlling our delusions, such as our anger, attachment, jealousy, uh, wrong view, and so forth, we can maintain a peaceful mind all the time so that we will be happy all the time. This is what we really want. Normally, although we want to be happy all the time, but we don't know how to do this. We are doing opposite way, you know, contradictory way, you know. <clears throat> As I said before, when we search for uh, our body with wisdom, we will realize that the body does not exist. What remains is the mere absence of the body. This remains. Sorry, mere name of the body remains. Sorry. Mm. As I said before, when we search for our body with wisdom, we will realize that uh, our body does not exist. What remains is the main name of the body. The main name of the body. In the same way, when we search for our sap or our eye or, and all other phenomena with wisdom, we will realize that they do not exist. What remains, remains is the main name, the main name with the understanding of all things as a man name, with the understanding of all things as a man name, we should engage in daily activities and uh, communication with others as normal. Even if you realize sublessness directly, but still, uh, with a uh, mm, mm, satisfied with the man name, no? <clears throat> or, or um, mm, with the uh, understanding of all things as a man name, we should engage uh, in daily activities and communicate it with others as normal. Uh, um, as normal. Through um, being satisfied, through being satisfied with the man name, we should contemplate how living beings experience suffering. And we should meditate on compassion for all living beings. The realization of compassion and the realization of emptiness are equally important, like the two wings of a bird. A bird. By relying upon these two wings, we can apply to the enlightened world, such as pure, uh, pure land of Kajra. That is a better yogini pure land, you know. So you should go in there. <laughs> Thank you. We, we stop this, okay? Thank you very much.